This is Shane Lamont from SHC TV, and today I'm very lucky to be joined over Zoom by Commonwealth Silver Middleweight Champion Ryan Kelly, ahead of his defence in just over two weeks' time, live on Channel 5. So yeah, mate, like I say, how are you doing today? Oh, good, mate. All good, yeah. Getting ready. Uh, you know, training going well, sparring going well. Uh, just looking forward to getting in there now, you know, putting on a performance. 100%, mate. So what I wanted to sort of start with, you know, is sort of a recap on the last year in your career. Obviously, you know, three fights, three wins. One where you beat Serge and Bomo, another where you beat River Wilson Bent to win the Commonwealth Silver Middleweight title, and most recently, obviously, you winning Telford over Ion Lutek. How would you sort of summarise yeah. the last year for you? Yeah, I mean, um, before the Serge and Bono fight, I had 13 months out of the ring due to um, due to no fault of my own, really. It was to do with um, a medical problem. Got to, you know, after after three different medicals and a you know. You no, know, a lot of money wasted. It turns out there was no, there was no problem. So, you know, Serge Ambono was about knocking the rust off, blowing the, uh, you know, blowing the cobwebs. Uh, then obviously I stepped up and fought River for the Commonwealth Silver. I was happy with my performance, ish. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't over happy with it. But you know, I got the job done, and it, it was a great fight. It was actually fight of the year. So yeah, it um. You know, it's gone well. Obviously, in Telford, I don't know if you whether you watched the fight. Um, he caught us off guard. It was, you know, he was. we were supposed to fight somebody else. Uh, not that there was any any real preparation for a certain, a certain fighter, but it was more, he came in and, you know, that's how he fights. It was... Um, I only got four weeks notice for that fight, so it, it wasn't. I wasn't as prepared as what I'd have liked to have been. If you go back to obviously, you know, getting into boxing, where did that sort of love for the sport come from? And yeah, how did you get into it? Well, the you know, it was me and my brother. Really, we went down to the gym, Chapel House Boxing uh, Club in Chelmsley Wood. Um, my trainer now was the guy I've always trained with, uh, John Costello. So I was away from him for a while. But you know, I'm back, back now, and you know, we gel really well. Um, we're both a pair of lunatics, really. <laughs> but you know, that's where it all started. And you know, I, I, I fell in love with the sport, whereas my brother he, he, he didn't like it, he hated it. Um, you know, so it's just it, it's just about the individual, really. Um, best thing I ever did, though, getting to you know boxing. It's it's you know gave me my discipline and. It's you know I've learned I've learned a lot from the sport. How important would you see your relationship with your trainer is? Yeah, very important. I mean, you understand each other. You you've got to be able to to you know work not just in the good times but in the bad times as well. That's where picking a picking your boxing trainer is very important because you can't all you know take a loss together. You you, you both lose. Um, you know the highs and the lows. You do it together. So I've got a good relationship there with my trainer, um, a, a, you know, a real good relationship. So I think if you can gel, say it's it's about winning and losing together. But obviously, we, you know, we our intentions are to to win only. So one hundred percent. So then, obviously, you know, getting more into box. Um, you know, what was your amateur career like? You know, what accolades did you achieve? And overall, how did you think it went? I was, you know, I was, I was, a, I was a decent enough amateur. Um, I had just under sixty fights. I won, I won around forty nine of them. So I wasn't a bad amateur. Mainly a junior. I didn't, I didn't do any any senior boxing really as an amateur. I kind of fell out of love with the sport. Um, I went into the professional game. I, I, I kind of with with the amateurs. I was sick of the old, you know, not not necessarily the head. And all the rest of it because I'm used to that. I just fell out of love with fighting for fighting for nothing. So you know, I uh, I wanted to I wanted to go down the professional route. How would you sort of you know say your pro journey has went so far? Obviously, you know you won the Midlands title and more recently you won the Commonwealth title. How would you sort of say your journey's gone so far? And you know what moments sort of stick out to you? <coughs> I mean, not as good as what. No, it hasn't gone as well as what it, I, I think it could have. Um, you know, if I, there, there was a lot of mis, 
I've made a lot of mistakes with, you know, <clears throat> moving moving gyms and maybe taking fights I shouldn't have, uh, you know, underprepared and there, there, there's a lot I wouldn't do again if I could if I could go back. But at the same time, I'm 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 still I'm still healthy and I'm still fit, uh, and I've still got plenty of plenty of dog left in me. There's plenty of fight left in me, so um, I'm happy with. Uh, I will be happy because I know there's a lot more to come, and I know I know that you know winning an area title. I did that. Nothing wrong with it, but I did that a lot in the amateur game. Um, you know the Commonwealth silver, another another stepping stone for me. I, I believe I'm destined for, for for bigger titles. So we're just going to have to take fight. You know each fight as they come. But June 14th, Jerome Warburton, he's the guy in front of us. So I've got to get through him. And then I'll be on to I'm I'm sure I'll be on to bigger and better things. One hundred percent, mate. So then obviously on to that fight with Jerome Warburton on the fourteenth. How did that sort of come about and how long have you known about it for? Obviously you're on the Wasserman show at the start of March. Was it sort of off the back of that? Yeah. Um so I had a chat with with Sam, the uh Wasserman um matchmaker, I believe. He uh he came up to us after and he said, Look, we're happy with your performance, we're happy to work with you. So there's a fight here that we want to put to you, and it, it, they mentioned his name. And at the time, I'll be honest, I hadn't, I hadn't heard much of Jerome. You know, that's not me knocking him or taking anything away from him. He's he's got a good record, and he's 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 a good fighter. So uh, they offered us the, you know, Jerome Warburton, and we said, yeah. There's, you know, I don't, I like Southpaws. You know, I don't. I've I've shared a lot of, I've shared a lot of time in the ring with Southpaws, so they don't. They don't phase me. They don't bother me. So it's just, it's just another name. It's just another name that I've got to go in there, do my job, and you know, get the win and then move on. So then, obviously, on to training. You know, obviously, um, this fight's obviously a, ba- a massive fight. You know, your first defense of the title on that. How, how's training been going for you? And have you been training differently ten in your other fights? Do you know uh, every every camp we? Structured with us, you know. We, I'm always in the gym. I live life in the gym. I'm never, I'm never out the gym. I'll have a week off after my fight, and that's it. Other than that, I'm in the gym. I live clean. You know, my diet's, my diet's always fairly good. So for me, it's, I get a fight and I'm, re- I'm ready to go. You know, I'm ready to go. I, but it's nice to, it's nice to get pre- prepared for a, you know, a style like I said earlier. So you know we've had we've been doing rounds with Southpaws now for probably three or four months. You know before before the the last fight, I was doing uh you know I was doing a lot of rounds with uh, Southpaws. So I've done a lot of rounds this camp with um, Tyler Denny, who obviously is fighting Felix Cash uh, the week after my fight. So the preparation I've had is you know I, I couldn't have had it any better. So. Like I say, I'm I'm just I'm ready for June fourteenth, and I hope he brings his A game, and we'll we'll put on a we'll put on a you know a show. One hundred percent. So obviously, you know, on to June fourteenth. What do you think it would sort of mean to you to hear the words "and still"? And where do you think you'd want to go next in the future? You could Well, I've got to hear "and still." That's that's got to be that's got to be um, you know that's got to be the the words announced. So for me. I wasn't looking to defend this title. It's it's more because the Silver Commonwealth. I made myself mandatory for you know the Commonwealth. So for me, I didn't. It wasn't really in my interest to defend it. But if I am defending it, I certainly ain't let it go. I lose my mandatory position. So you know, there's there's a lot of incentive in this fight, and yeah. So it, it, it's got to be, and still. 100%. And then lastly, you know, what would you say your end goal in boxing is as a whole? You know, obviously you've won 2,000 your career so far. You've had, you've been in some really good fights so far. You know, what, what do you think uh, your end goal is as a whole in boxing? To, um, obviously I'd like to win more titles and, uh, you know, more major titles. That's, that's what I'm in the sport for. But, my end, my end goal is to just come out of boxing with my full health. You know, 
Um, regardless, I'd like to. Would I like to win major titles? Of course, of course I would. But you know, there's more. There's more to to life than boxing. As long as I'm healthy, I'm going to keep fighting, and I believe I can. I can win major titles. I think I minimum I've got a British title in me. So, uh, you know, at least I believe at least I look. I look at the the list of fighters, especially in middleweights, that have won British titles. And gone on to win more and fight for more, and I'm, I, I, you know, not to blow my own trumpet. I believe I'm leaps and bounds above them. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like to win more, mate. Bring, bring some titles home and earn a few quid. One hundred percent. And uh, yeah, lastly, have you got anything you want to promote? Say for your socials, anything like that? Yeah, I'd like to, you know, say a huge thank you to my sponsors. Um, you, you know, you've caught me off guard. I've got. One here, Will Clare, um, help you know they've they've helped me out massive. Uh, Malaw's Carpentry, we've got uh, oh, I've gone blank. Miles who does my uh, strength conditioning, MTW, uh, Proud Gardens jumped on board, helped me out massively. JC Driveways have helped me out also. Um, who else we got? We've got a couple. We've got a couple more. Um, but yeah. A huge thank you to all my, you know, my sponsors, and to those who are buying tickets to all my fights. You know, my my fan base has always been great, and uh, I'm looking forward to putting on a show again for you all. One hundred percent, Ryan. Thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Best of luck on the fourteenth, and yeah, we'll definitely do it again sometime. Yep, yeah, Spartan. Thank you.